welcome to another episode of Jurassic World, the game where you have seen the thumbnail, you have seen the title, and that is right, Bumpy, the star from season one, two, and three? I think from four or five it vanished, or maybe it was in a one episode of uh, four, uh, is here in from Camp Cretaceous. We have Bumpy, Bumpaloopoo, uh, the world's most loyal ankylosaur, is here with its asymmetry in its head. This is amazing. Um, so, I was, I mean, we've already put the video up today, I think it was, it's Dino Bash, we've already done that. But then, I was messaged by uh, Ludia, who oh, actually I will need to get up my phone because I'll need to, I have a disclaimer to, to put into the video and there it is, something adorable. This way it comes, oh lovely. <laughs> Bumpy was gifted to me on behalf of Ludia as an exclusive sneak peek of what's to come in Jurassic World the game. Bumpy will be officially released as the prize for finishing in Dominator League at the end of tournament. It starts Friday, this Friday coming. That's tomorrow, if you're watching it today. Uh, and will end on Sunday. So it is only gonna be up for this weekend. Um, <laughs> like how I just was all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Gerbils on uh, on something. Uh, so, I <laughs> don't know why I have that saved. It's brilliant, though. Um, so, uh, I should, if we go into... Uh, I'll just click off that, click off this, and go into here. News from InGen. Say hello to Bumpy! Uh, we got a maintenance break, so we can collect that. I think that's already passed. So, a thousand? Is that a th Maybe it was a thousand, sorry. Repeating on me. <laughs> oh, we are so professional here at the game. We're big fan. Um, so, let's have a look. We got news from Ranger. Say hello to Bobby. So, I guess we collected and fingers crossed. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's It's got its own little background and stuff. Wow. So, it is a legendary, and you will be able to get this from, you know, a, uh, a, a the, the weekend tournament. So, it's not something that's really hard to get. Um, it's just joining the ranks of all the other tournament creatures. So, let's have a look. What's it got? So, 2006. 68 health and 970 attack. What well, will be interesting, and um, this is a this just sets a precedent. Now, remember back in 2015 when Jurassic World the game had just came out and you had the brawlosaurs and stuff. I said, why don't we get celebrity dinosaurs in the game, like the T-Rex from uh, the Lost World, like the book, or maybe the Spinosaur from Jurassic Park 3, and. They never did it, or at least until today, seven years later, they have finally put in, like, a, a, a celebrity character. Uh, it should be, like, all-stars, if you'd class that, like, uh, you know, you got legendary, uh, super rare, all-star should be its own thing. So we'll pop it in. Uh, I don't think I have any free hatches. Oh, I do, 250. Oh, thank God. Okay, here it is, Bumpy! Oh, it looks so small, a bit like it does in uh, Just World Alive. It's really tiny in there, too. Uh, oh, it's going over to uh, Isla Sauna. Ooh. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, I, oh, I, I don't know if they've fixed the light. <laughs> uh, do we have it unlocked, actually? I don't know. No, we don't. Oh, that is interesting. So, it's, it's almost like it's in its preview form. Yeah. It's in its preview form, like the lighting is exactly the same. <gasps> that is interesting because you wouldn't be able to get it so far. So they've actually forgotten like, oh, oops. <laughs> uh, Bumpy's horns are asymmetrical with one being rounder and less blunt than the other, giving her a uniquely adorable appearance. So for an all intents and purposes, it does look like a um a regular ankylosaur like the the model looks the same it's symmetrical everywhere except for the head where the crest on its left our right or the horn sorry i should say the nodule is actually yeah it is a little bit shorter that's interesting and also another thing interesting to note is that its icon is different too um i would love to see what we can hybridize this uh with and um I'm very curious so at what level 40 it looks like so at level 10 560 health and 262 attack um that kind of puts it on par with, uh, yeah, just like a regular legend. I think tournaments are, I was gonna say, is it level 40 legendary? No, it's not. It's definitely not level 40. So, if we have a look, can we have a look at what level 40 Bumpy looks like? <gasps> oh, it actually has a glow on it! Oh, that is so cool! And... So, I mean, if we can increase the brightness in editing or something, just to try and see this the best we can. 
Um, it looks like for the first time ever in this game, a level 40 of a dinosaur does not look like every other level 40. Um, and in fact, it has a, its own like green glow, because if you ever look, unless the colorings are different, which they might be, I can't really see because it's quite dark, um, they just get a glow, like a level 3, uh, oh! So at level 2, it has like a slight haze, at level 3, it picks it up a little bit, level 4, it's Ultra Instinct, it's like a Dragon Ball Z! <laughs> oh, that's interesting, it gets extra smelly! <laughs> Interesting. So we, we can actually see the creature facts. Uh, Bubby is particularly loyal and kind of some, acting as a protector to that to those she is bonded with. This makes her an invaluable companion and friend. Bumby is roughly 60% the size of a normal ankylosaur due to her shortened incubation period. That's why she's small. Okay, that makes sense. I wonder if she was always smaller. Huh. Uh, the armored shell and heavy club at the end of her tail provide Bumby with protection from any potential enemies. Well, that is as much as we can show. I mean, that, that's probably actually the best lighting that we could show Bumpy in. <laughs> it's from this one, because otherwise it's all like in the shadows. Oh, that is interesting. So we can't we can't see how much it's gonna cost to, to you know get to level 40 or how much DNA. Uh, but we can, if we go here, speculate. So at a level 40, um it's better than an Enosaurus. So we can say that a Bumpy is probably gonna be 6,600, I would say. It looks very similar to the Nodosaurus. And then the next jump is another 50. Or, sorry, 150. They kind of go in those leaps. So the, it, it could be 6,700. But, I mean, if you have a look, there's no 50 jumps. It's 500 jump, 500 jump, 100 jump. Actually, maybe it might be 50. Uh, it could be even... It, it could be 6,700, but it's not going to be more than 6,600. Um, and as far as its, you know, its competitors go, 700 less health than a Nodosaurus, but 100 nod extra attack. Um, 1,700 less health than an Enosaurus, but double the attack. So it's, it's, it's kind of tricky. If it is the same price as a Nodosaur, um, uh, it's, I, I don't know, I think Nodosaur might be slightly better than Bumpy, just in terms of what you get. 700 health is a lot to trade for like 100 attack. If it was 200 attack, 700 would be nothing. I'd easy, I'd easy to take that. But 700? For 100? Uh, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. It, it's not going to be cheaper. We can, we're going to show you that. Um, so, now that we are in Jurassic World, the game, let's see what's gone on. Uh, is there anything I can trade? Oh, yes, I'll trade those for some bucks. Thank you very much. Uh, also trade that. I mean, we kind of do need DNA, I'm not going to lie. Um, I wonder if I have any John Hammond statues. Do I? I have 31 John Hammond statues. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. I was talking uh, to my contact uh, at Ludia. Or should I say Jam City? Oh, I guess it's both the same. It doesn't matter what I say. Uh, but the thing is, when it comes to like dr like this content, it always has been the case that if you get the video of the newest creature, then you get views. But if you wait weeks, then you don't get the views. So, I mean, I really appreciate them doing this. But the only problem is with Jurassic World Alive. Jurassic World Alive just came out with a new update. Um, and I was excited. I was like, oh yeah, new hybrids is going to be brilliant. Went on, tried to make all of the new hybrids, literally all of them, and couldn't do it. Couldn't make a single new hybrid. So, I can't make a video on it. Uh, because what am I going to say? Oh, look, there's new stuff, but I can't use it. No one, no one's going to watch. Um, so, unfortunately, I can't really cover it. Um... And uh, it, it, it sucks, because I do, you know, I want to support them, I want to support, you know, what they're doing, but the thing is, I, I can't, I've got nothing to showcase, and it's not that I don't play the game, I do, I play it a lot, but <sighs> when you release uh, Uniques and Apexes and dinosaurs that have ingredients that are super hard to get, what can I say? I, I, I can't do anything. <laughs> I just look at it and go, cool! 
Right, <laughs> next thing, next aisle, guess I'm recording the aisle again. Nobody wants the aisle, don't be silly. <laughs> so, oh, we're getting some DNA here. That's good because we actually are going to need it. I don't want to get into the situation where I have to sell things. You know what, Ehrlichosaurus? Don't need it. Don't need it. You can have that. Um, oh, oh, yes. Oh, interested to actually see what, what we've got going on. So, yes, there it is, the Bumpy. In 15 hours, the Bumpy tournament is going to be here. Um, test your strength. Glacial shifts. Interesting. Okay, okay. Um... I always like the Battle Stage Infinite. Battle Stage Infinite's loads of fun. Oh, we get a face up against the level 218 Bumpy? What? Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You thought it was going to end there? You lucky few that stayed around. You're going to... Look at the glow. Oh, that is cool. It's even got its green stink, the stinky lines. Right. So, pretty much the best team we could do for this. And I do have a level 40 Scorpius Rex. We do have it. Um, I don't know whether I did a level... I must have leveled it up in a video. I must have. Um, damn. Should have put that in the thumbnail. Bugger. <laughs> Next time. Uh, so, carnivals. Pretty much carnivores. So I'm going to go Pachygalosaurus. Then I'm going to go Scorpius Rex. And then we're going to finish with Indoraptor. Um, Pachygalosaurus just to, you know, take hits. Um, I think it can only take two hits from the Uteranus like everything else. Even though there's 18,000 health. 8,000, you know, two hits is 16,000. And another 2,000 is going to be more than enough. Uh, it's going to get that with the stack. So here we go. Oh, this is going to be interesting. A level... Oh, don't need... oh look at it. Oh, yeah. A level 40 Pumperoo! This is interesting! Ah, well, I guess this is the thumbnail, I suppose. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, oh, we'll unlock it, we, you know, show it in the enclosure, put its little icons. But actually, there it is. And we can quite clearly see that, you know, for the first time ever, we have a celebrity dinosaur. And we have a dinosaur, as it evolves, it does not change design at all. Which, in a way, saves the Jurassic World, uh, the game team, a lot of time, um, you know, in order to have to do that. They just put the effect on. There's just, like, effect. And going forward, I can see this being more of a thing. Like, having dinosaurs that are celebrity dinosaurs, all-stars, um, and they just have a haze on them. And I've said this for seven years, or at least I started for seven years ago, uh, saying that that would be a really cool idea, but they haven't done it yet. <laughs> Except for today, this is brilliant. Um, and this, of course, coincides with Jurassic World Alive has also got, you know, their new hybrids and stuff. Because um, I would love to showcase those hybrids, um, but there, there legit is no way for me to do that. Um, oh, well, it went for its eight attack, I think. Or was it me? It's it had to get its eight. I don't want to kill Bumpy, though. Oh, no, Bumpy, I'm so sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Bumpy, you're dead. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean it, Bumpy. I didn't mean it. I kind of want B Bumpy to win. Bimpy, Bimpy, Bumpy. But uh, that's, that's really interesting that that's happened. And I wonder if it's just pure, sheer coincidence. Because they generate automatically, but I haven't clicked on Battle Stitch Infinite since Bumpy's come into the game after an update. So maybe now that I've clicked on it, it's went up, oh, Bumpy. Yep, put you in. And otherwise, if Ludia yourselves have done that, thank you. That's really good. <laughs> so Scorpius Rex, um, I think I don't know if it had any. I'll, I'll factor in one just in case. Yeah, I think it went all out. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> Bam. There's a, there's a video on YouTube actually. Um, asking, uh, you know, puts the question, who would win, Indoraptor or Scorpius Rex? And I, I kind of want to do, like, a watch with it, like, you know, a reaction to it. Uh, no, Scorpius fall over. Oh, and here it is, Indoraptor level 40. It's a shame, I mean, is there any way that we could showcase Bumpy? I guess we could. We'll do, we'll do one battle with Bumpy, sure. Sure, why not? And eight attacks, right? I, I didn't just waste that, did I? No. Yes. Right? No? There's not anymore? Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, my God. I just wasted my best creatures. Look at Bumpy there. So cute. So there you go. A hundo. A mystery pack. And we got 60 bucks for it. Oh, we're getting a... So we're down 190 bucks from, uh, you know, instantly hatching uh, that Bumpy there. So a couple of million to get some more food. Just collect some of this as well. Charlie, come here. <laughs> so let's go into uh, PvP. Um, 
We'll just go with Sen- No, not Senesaur. We'll go- I wish there was just a land one, but there isn't, is there? Um, I kind of want to do a boosted bumpy, but at the same time, I can't- Yeah, should we do it? We'll do a boosted bumpy. So, we want to- We want to find bumpy first. Now, it'll be level 10. It's going to be around here. Look at- Look at that! How many Alumbias do I have? That's amazing! There is bumpy! Okay, so we're going to put bumpy in. Um... Now, I don't want those. I mean, it doesn't matter what I have. I'll put I'll put those guys in. Yeah, these two. Now, what do we do with Bumpy? If it's going to average out to what we have, we kind of want more attack. Because I think Bumpy, as far as dinosaurs go, has loads of attack. Only downside, it's a herbivore. So, there's a high chance we're going to come up against carnivores. Um, so, with that being said, I think nullifying is probably the best, just in case we come up against some nasty things. And then the next is give an extra 100 attack. So Bumpy coming into this will have 462 attack. Which is loads! Now hopefully it averages. Please do. Please do. I want Bumpy to win. Come on. Average. Don't just do something crazy. Oh, it's in the Cenozoics. Damn! Damn! Whenever you get Cenozoic, you get pulled into this. But at least we get a scene Bumpy. And use Bumpy. So Intimidation, which is interesting. Because aren't we just going to uh, terrify... Oh! Uh, yeah, but we're going to nullify that. Do we nullify the Terrify? I don't know if we do. Uh, although, saying that, I don't think we did nullify that, which is interesting. Okay, well, I mean, if we get to go first, which we don't, I was going to say we do get to kill it. Uh, we get to kill it anyway, and then next is an Alanqua. So, I like, you know, they've done it. They've done a good job with Bumpy. It's not the Bumpy from Camp Cretaceous. Like, they haven't got the model. But what they've done is they've taken their Ankylosaur, they've changed it a little bit, and then they've put the colorings on and stuff. Um, maybe that's asking a bit too much to, you know, take the Camp Cretaceous model. Because Bumpy's very... Uh, I guess it's the same as Ankylosaurs in Camp Cretaceous, but as com in comparison to this Ankylosaur, yes, it's very different. Um, it would have been just cool to, you know, have a... Um, Oh, wow. Okay, I need to go for a block here. Ooh, oh dear. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't like this. Oh, no, no. He could kill me. And then it's game. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Tell you what, I kind of want to go all out here. So he had four. If I go for two, I kill him. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so, you know what? I'm going to factor in two. Uh, oh, it went for three, you bugger you. He's got four. He's killed me. He's got five. Yeah, okay, yeah, we've lost. Oh, no! <laughs> what were the chances? No! Oh, yeah, we're dead. We're dead. We're killed in three. It's going to go for three. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, I mean, we'll watch Bumpy die. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Sorry, Bumpy, you kind of died there. Sorry. And then, yeah, just, yeah, there's, there's, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's nothing. There's nothing to be done. But we'll try it one more time and see if we can just get Bumpy into the heli, you know, the helicopter. Um, you know, Co-19, may as well do it. Really need to hatch some more of these super hybrids because I've just been, you know, I haven't really spent any of this stuff. I think we did a video where I spent loads of the super DNA, but I've probably still got a bunch left over on other hybrids. That's the thing, though. Um, I don't know. You, you kind of don't. With these games, I know, right, I can't even talk. With the, with Ludia games, you don't want to spend your resources on something that you've already got. Or make something better. Because the same with Jurassic World Alive and with Jurassic World the game, they could all of a sudden decide, actually, this DNA is also going to make something else really good. And you've just wasted your DNA. And that's, unfortunately, that's the environment that these games have led to, is you, if you... If you want to do something right now and you want to make something better, you get punished for it. Because at a later date, either your dinosaur will get nerfed or there'll be something else to use that DNA for. And it's like, ah, damn. So as much as you want to, you know, level up your dinosaurs and try out different things and, you know, maybe you spend your DNA on other things, uh, what have you, you can't. Because you have to sit here and wait and like, what if in the next update something really good comes out and then I need this again? Uh, or I need that DNA. So we'll go on to... Ooh, not flyers. Herbivores! Right, worry. Should be easy to pick you out now. Yes. Instant. 34 bucks? You know, I'm just gonna... 34 bucks, I don't care. <laughs> 34 four bucks as well. Um, we'll go for those. Health would have been better. Health actually would have been better. So you know what? I'm gonna give it an extra... 
I should have just done that. I've given it a thousand extra health instead of 200 attack. You idiot, James. Please don't be any Cenozoics. Yes, it's the helipad. Oh, I love this one. This one looks so pretty. Yes, look at the light. It's gorgeous. Right, so we nullify. Oh, is that random? <gasps> Was that random uh, mods for dinosaurs? I think it might have been. Oh, and if we get to go first, we kill it anyway in one hit. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter about that. It can increase its attack. Not going to do much. Oh, no. There it is. There it is. Ah, now we don't get to kill it. Please don't go first. Oh, you come on. <laughs> one time I don't want to go first. And of course, I go first. Go on then, two. Go on then, two. What you going to do? Interesting. I'm, I've just clocked on. Now... For, for the longest time, this game would always show people's pictures. And, you know, it, for opponents and stuff. But, they've stopped it recently. Now, I'm wondering how much of that is to do with Jam City taking over. Because I kind of want to go back and find out when Jam City took over and when the names disappeared and when the pictures disappeared. Um... Because I wonder if that was the case of Jam City going, uh, we don't have permission to use people's pictures and names. What are you doing? <laughs> then again, though, when you first play this game, you have to accept the terms and conditions. So, is part of those terms and conditions, uh, you sign away your... likeness? Dunno. <laughs> oh, love the bureaucracy, don't you? It's so much fun. Okay, uh, I kind of want to save up because I, I, I want to go for a full-on aid attack just to finish this off to showcase the bumpy. Now, at least here we get to see it in all of its glory and we get to see it's like win animation. So I think it's just going to be the same as a regular uh, Ankylosaur. It would be cool if it's different, but I highly doubt it, seeing as it's got the same animations. Every oh, we go for a full-on aid attack at level 10. What up? Yes! Bumpy, you did it! Yay! Mwah! Bumpy with no Ben? It just doesn't look right. But hey ho, here we are. So, intermediate boosted prize! I'm assuming that's not the worst. And we got a. How much was that? And we got a Shunosaurus? <laughs> what? How much did that cost to enter? No way, intermediate. So, it, w it was this. 2% chance of getting a Shunosaurus. Oh, we got it. Oh my god, that was so rare. So it technically costs us 20 bucks. And would I... I mean, for me personally, would I spend 20 bucks on a Shunosaurus? No, because it's only Shunosaurus and I've, only, I've, just, I've already got it. But if I hadn't got it and I just started the game and I, you know, I was able to win that, that's a no-brainer. Hell yeah. Well, anyway, guys, just a quick little video to showcase Bumpy coming soon this weekend. Enjoy this video. Go ahead, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.